Yeah, one might have come in handy there because he would have given you money. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have enough coins, then you're just not going to be able to get the star. You can actually decline the star, which, you know, there's very, very few instances where that would actually be applicable, but if you cannot afford the star, then of course you're just going to be sent back to start and then it will rotate around again. And then there's Koopa at the start of this board. Every time you pass him, he will give you 10 coins. If you're the 10th person to pass him, he'll give you 20, and he will also give you 20 in the last 5 turns. Hi, Bowser. <laughs> the Bowser's face. We have plenty of fun events. Yes, we do. We have coins for Bowser. That's a good event. I like this event. <laughs> Next time we go to a club, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to dance like that. <laughs> it's the best dance ever. I love it. Okay. One player minigame, I take it. Oh no, he's going the other way. There are branching paths, but really it's just if you want to go see Boo or not, and if you're trying to get to the star fast or slow, that's pretty much all they're there for. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll go over like the uh, rotate the control stick minigame copyright issue whenever we get there. But this one actually works out quite well, because I get to hit Yoshi with a hammer, and this makes me happy. I enjoy this. Well, Somebody needs to make like a 50 second loop of this. But anyway, the one player. Hit the player in the Bowser suit with your hammer. The person in the Bowser suit must run away until time is up. So he will move and jump, and we will move and attack with A. The player in the Bowser suit can also grab coins that get bashed out of them. Uh, that's what we're trying to do as well. If you're playing the Bowser space version of this, the coins will just automatically go away. And if you avo uh, avoid getting hit at all until time runs up, Bowser will automatically take 15 coins. So, if you get Bash and Cash, let them hit you once, and then run. We are not doing a very good job. <laughs> I got him! Yay! Uh. I'm just gonna whack him, you guys go for it. Yeah. I get it. Did you get it or did Yoshi get it? No, he got it. Yeah. Oh no! Dude, you put crying like a baby. Minus 15. Ouch. Oh well, you got third now. Har har. Mario lost a lot of money that round. Lost 20 from Bowser and then another 15 from that minigame. And he's gonna lose the rest of his money right here. Wow. Oh man. Not a good day to be Mario. Oh, not. But yeah, no coins. Okay, I'll just take them all. And in case anybody's wondering, no, this star does not actually cause you to lose a star like it does in later Mario parties. There's only one time where Bowser can actually cause you to lose a star, or actually two. He can take one an eternal star, and if you land on. No, I think it might just be Eternal Star, actually. Or Bowser's Magma Mountain. Oh, no. Aw, oh, don't tell me. It's gonna be Swap Coins with Mario. You are gonna be swapping coins with Mario. This is not going well. Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Okay. Wow, come on. How many more coins are we gonna lose? 30. Come on! <laughs> That's what I lost last time! <laughs> That's rough. I don't even have 30 coins. You don't? No. Oh, you have 16. Okay. I have barely over half that. Dang. Mario doesn't even have 30 coins from what I gave him. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's still one coin short of 30. Man, that's rough. Alright, where am I going here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a red space, again. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, Toad's up there right now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yoshi's right there. Where's Mari? He went back to start. So I'm going this way. I'll take the red space, thanks. I get to steal that star right as he gets it. Hammer drop, which we just played like, what, 10 minutes ago? Shit. Oh well. This is one of the coin collecting minigames, though it's not specified as one. Try to get the coins that the hammer bro throws down, but watch out because he throws hammers too. So yeah, you'll move around to pick the stuff up. I don't know why in the world you'd want to hammer drop, but... If you want to show off your...
powerful thighs, then feel free to do so. You can fall off of this, in case anyone was wondering. I'm gonna try to push Mario off right here, and it didn't work. Mario, get away from me. Oh, thank you. I'm not getting it. I think you just got that one. Oh no! Mario, get out of my way! Don't yeah, I'm not going for that coin bag, sorry. Football! <laughs> you don't lose anything from falling off, you just don't get to play the rest of the mini game. So feel free to jump off at the end like I do. Oh, hey, I did get quite big. Oh, you did? Nice. I have five coins! You're rich! I think I only got like six. I didn't get very much from that. So you can hit that red space, you can come up here with me and go visit Boo. Go visit Boo. The only problem with going this way is there's a chance to just fake. Oh, come on. He didn't need- well, actually, he kind of did need that after all the money he just lost. Slot machine. Oh, I totally forgot this was still here. Yay! Have fun with that slot machine, Mario. Glad I'm not you. I just blew my nose and felt really lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> I can edit it out, so. Oh, he's gonna get it. Yeah. Wow. It's only five coins, don't worry. Finish. What you get is just dependent on what you go for. The biggest thing you can get is the Mario's hat icon, which I believe is 15. The treasure chest is the next highest, and it's 10. Coin bag's five, shell is three, coin is one, and I think that's all that's on there. Pretty much as long as you can make a match, you're okay. Hi, Yoshi. You're gonna go see Toad. One last piece if you want. Oh, I'm good. Yo! Hope you enjoy that star, because you're gonna lose it immediately. Okay, maybe it's my imagination, but like, in most of the Mario parties, Yoshi sounds like he's full of helium. Yeah. Especially when he has like, his little defeat noise. <laughs> 16, Mario Party 64. Oh gosh. 10 coin bonus. How nice. Back when Yoshi was a balloon animal. Yep. Good times. <laughs> Fun fact, Yoshi used to be a balloon animal. Who knew? I'm gonna be taking that star now, Yoshi. It's illegal for a dinosaur to carry a star. In fact, your chances of death increase 100% when you're born. Oh wow. Did not know that. Whoa, hello! <laughs> hello Bowser, how's it going? That was close. <clears throat> yeah, facelift. As opposed to Crazy Cutter on how bad we did last time, where I somehow got 91 points out of it. I did so bad. Yeah. Uh, pull and tug Bowser's face to try to match the example. Press A to grab the face, then press A and move the control stick to pull it. You can hit B to undo as well. Watch the example closely. That's the shortcut to success. <laughs> well, it's not really a shortcut. That's what you're supposed to do. But, okay. We're going to pretend it's a shortcut. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, luckily, this one is probably <laughs> the easiest one to create. Because if you take the mouth, pull it all the way down, and you take the cheeks and pull them as far down and left and down and right as they will go. Pull the eyebrows straight up and inside as much as you can. And there you go. Perfect 100 points. I don't know what Mario and Yoshi are doing, but it's wrong. <laughs> it doesn't take a genius to see that's wrong, Mario. Yeah, it's always usually as far as you can go in one direction or the other. It's almost never in the middle. Yeah. There's only like one or two designs that that's the case. What? Alright, whatever. We still got money. It's good enough to win, so I'll take it. There's probably something really simple we missed, but oh well. That's a game where everyone could win, but the AI yeah, was stupid. That would be a bad time for a two. Oh nice, you're gonna get to steal from somebody and you're gonna get a one player minigame. Sweet. Goodbye, Mario. Later. Wow, 14, nice. As opposed to mine. I bet you're gonna get one. One. Oh, I missed. 
And what are you gonna get? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wow. For anybody wondering, we did a practice run of this, like, right before we started recording, and he got this on the last one, too. Find the leader of the booze! The leader of the first of the, all the booze to move. That, that was phrased really weird. The first one that moves is the one you want to try to run into. You don't even have to attack it, you just run, just beeline into him. Okay, that time it was actually pretty obvious. Wow, well, nope. kind of enough for me. Nice. And then Luigi gets eaten by ghosts. No. Poor Luigi. Alright, Mario, what are you gonna do? Not much. I don't even know who's up on the tower right now. Is it Bowser? Yeah, it's Bowser, because I took Yoshi's star. It should be Bowser. Yeah, he's up there. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man! Come on! That ain't cool. I'm trying to avoid that. Coin Block Blitz. Not to be confused with the one that we played a second ago. Unfortunately. Because that one's easier to do better on. Yeah, I know. Exact same map. Didn't try very hard. When you hit the blocks, coins come out. What a surprise. Jump to hit the blocks and take as many coins as you can. Move and jump. The number of coins is different for each block. Hit as many blocks as you can. It says within the time limit, but they will run out long before that. Trust me. And there is a proportion to this. I got 34, but I'm pretty sure they cut it in half, so I should have gotten 17, if I'm right. Yep, 17. Okay, so it's whatever number you hit the blocks in total divided by 2. That would be pretty generous if they gave me 34 coins. 4 coins. Better, money it's better than a minus block. Because <laughs> I guarantee if it had been a minus block, your roll would have been 10. That's how it usually works. More than two coins and I'm still in dead last. No, not dead last. Yoshi only has 45. He's gonna get more right here, though, from me. Yeah, knew that was coming. Why? Nine. Yeah, fast block. That's totally useful. So that Bowser's at the top of this thing. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Watch me just miscount it right there. Oh no, I can count to eight. Yeah. And one of you three is gonna screw me up and hit one of those, aren't you? <laughs> one of you three. More than likely yes. Oh man. Oh thank goodness it was a paddle battle. That's, that's, it's one of the rotate the control stick ones. Oh gosh, no. There's only three in the game, I think. I can think of three. Pets B repeatedly to escape their prana plant. Players on the cloud hip drop to feed the prana plant with rain. So I will jump with A and run with B. Luigi, Mario, and Yoshi will move around, which really don't move. You just, just keep doing hip drops over and over. As it rains on the prana plant, it gets bigger and can jump farther. There's actually another secret to this minigame that most people don't remember. And I'll be sure to try to show it. And that is if you jump whenever there's one of those vines overhead, it'll actually give you a little bit of a boost. So I'll try to show that off if I can. Like that. Run away guys didn't show that off, not did they? Nope! Pretty much this game is proportional on whether the one player messes up or not. If they mess up, then they're probably going to lose. Like I almost did right there. Finish. Dink. I like how you just throw the money down at me. <laughs> like, that was pretty good. Here. Good job with that one. <laughs> you earned it. Start. I think I'm gonna 
grenade. Shadows close. Oh no. <clears throat> now you're in third. Sweet. Um, Yay, no one screwed me up! You know what that means, kids? It means I get to screw myself up. One. Aw. Or two. I was really expecting a two or a three, to be honest. I don't really have very good, uh, very good pass with rolling high numbers when I need them. I'm the person that can say, okay, I need anything but a one, and then roll a one. Alright, Bowser, welcome back. Uh, one of those idiots put a good different one. <laughs> or somebody hits, like, a green space. I might have actually hit it. Oh, no, just missed it. Oh, well. No! Alright, here we go. I was really hoping we'd get through the first board without one of these. It's a three versus one tug of war against the player in the Bowser suit. Rotate the control stick to pull the rope. When you rotate the or just rotate the control stick when you fall from the cliff, you get eaten by a giant piranha plant. Why is that under advice? Okay, clockwise or counter? Uh, I don't think it matters. You can watch the animation right here. But yeah, either way, we'll get into this one after the minigame's over, because this is going to hurt. Oh, uh, here comes the pain. <laughs> Hope you like losing piece of your skin. Come on! Ow. Feel the heat! <laughs> Feel thunder! Yes! Come on, that actually didn't mess me up too bad. There's a red mark, but whatever. Oh man, that's how you build up calluses. Yeah. Uh. Start to get some friction burn there. <laughs> it's kind of better when the one player wins, because after they win, they like look over the cliff and then just start laughing maniacally. It's hilarious to watch. But yes, anyway, the reason why Mario Party 1 has not made an appearance on the Wii Virtual Console yet, Mario Party 2 has, is because of that game and two others that have a rotated <laughs> control stick minigame. The control stick is made out of plastic, there's no rubber or anything on it. And when that happened, there was kids quite often that would rotate the control stick so hard that they would get really bad blisters. And a couple of parents actually sued Nintendo for this, Nintendo lost that lawsuit. Thank you for stealing from me, Mario. Nintendo lost this lawsuit, and so they actually were required to get every, give every kid that got hurt by doing that a glove. And so it's recommended, if you're going to play this game on an N64, bring some gloves. Or just be man enough to get a lot of pain in your left or right arm, depending on which hand you use. But now we have a Bowser facelift, which is always fun. If you don't get more than 90 points, Bowser will steal your coins. Other than that, the rules are the same. Well, that's not a good time for the screen to go away. Yeah. Ugh. This one's actually kind of a difficult one to get. Alright, I'm down in the corner here. The eyebrows are pretty easy, though. I think I got it. I'm putting it down. I do like in the background, I, I appreciate the Super Bowser 64. That's pretty cool. Alright, I don't think Yoshi's going to get it. Mario's looks pretty good, but I don't think Yoshi's going to get it. Yeah. Mario actually looked really good. The AIs tend to perform better whenever they're doing a Bowser minigame, whether it's Balloon Burst or Facelift or Tug of War or whatever. Oh wow, everybody got it, even Yoshi. And as I said, when everybody wins a Bowser minigame, whoever activated that, Bowser says, well, I don't like you, so I'll just take 20 coins. Bowser doesn't like Mario, what? That's screwed up, man. All right, let's see if I can't help you out and get a happening space here. Yeah, got it. Ah, still can't get it. Oh well. What do we have now? Oh dear, bowl over. <laughs> we know how this went last time. I was the one player. He screwed it up. He just threw that poor Koopa. I know, right? Let's go bowling! And by let's, you mean the one player. The bowler uses the direction stick to aim the shell, while the people who are pins try to jump away. Mario moves aim shell, press A to throw it, and will jump away. If the Koopa shell hits the edge of the lane, there's an electric shock, and the game ends. 
Mario will get one coin for every pin he hits that is not one of the player pins, and he will steal five from us if we get knocked over. I kind of like where I'm sitting, so I'm just going to hang here. Mario, you're getting close to that thing. Oh. Yeah! There's also a voice clip that'll play if you hit all the pins down, and it's like a really bad voice clip that goes, Strike! And it sounds exactly like that. Mario, you're rich, man. You got two coins out of that. Too bad he's still, like, what, 30 coins behind you? <laughs> At least. Alright, what are your options here? Blue or blue? I guess take the long way and hope somebody yeah. screws up. Well, you found a hidden block. Ah, here we go. And Koopa. So the hidden blocks, like I said earlier, they will make either Boo, Koopa Troopa, or Bowser appear. If you get Koopa Troopa like Luigi just did, he will give you 20 coins. If you run into Bowser, he will take 20 coins away from you. If it's Boo, basically it will be the same as if you ran into Boo on the map. You can steal coins or a star for 50 coins. So pretty much as long as you don't get Bowser, you're going to be okay. How often do you get Bowser from Hidden Block? More often than you should. Yeah! Yes. I would just like to point out that I have 69 coins. That is all. Not for long, though. Yeah, I know. It's like, if I get a 1, I'm going this way. I'm not that much of a jerk. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <coughs> Space right before it. Or 3, 6, 9, 10. Space before the back. I'll go this way. Took some Yoshi coins, seeing as nobody has any stars. Yeah. So well, yeah, except me, because I took Yoshi's earlier. Alright, let's hope I can get more than one coin. I got eight. Alright, that'll work. What do we have now? Balloon burst! Hooray! My hand still kind of hurts from that stupid tug of war. Yeah. Alternate pressing A and Z to blow up the Bowser balloon. B can be used instead of Z. So you can use A and B or A and Z. I prefer A and Z, but I don't know, Matt. It didn't really matter. When the pump flashes, like so, well, not like this, it is full of air. When it's full, you can pump lots of air into the balloon. So you just have to find good timing with this one. And going really fast does not work that well, as you can see right here. It just looks like I'm doing something that should not be done in a Mario Party game. That has already been done in the intro to a Mario Party game. Oh well. Finish! I'm not gonna finish. Yoshi got it. Finish! I was busy paying attention to what Mario was doing. 